Coin Bureau revealed insane updates about Cardano that may cause its price to soar soon. Watch this video to find out more about this very interesting topic and the new updates on Cardano, so you can stay up to date about it. It is no secret that after a rather sharp fall in the last few days, Cardano has become an important topic of discussion. With this, a lot of popular experts discuss Cardano as well as the analysis surrounding it. Additionally, the popular YouTube channel Coin Bureau, which features several financial analysis on Cardano and its development, discussed several of the new upcoming initiatives. That is why, during today's episode, we are going to discuss the new Cardano projects that are coming up and why Coin Bureau is bullish about it despite its price decline. Also, I would like to share with you what they have just told about Cardano and what their thoughts were on the new Cardano project. In addition, we'll discuss what they have revealed about Cardano to its holders and the hurdles the development of the coin has encountered so far. Additionally, we will cover how Cardano is becoming increasingly popular thanks to its new exciting projects and developments. Furthermore, a look at how Cardano's smart contracts feature was built. Then, based on the perspective of Coin Bureau, what are the features of smart contracts and what are the issues associated with their functionality? So, Coin Bureau, as its name suggests, is a crypto enthusiast channel with over a million subscribers on YouTube. Subscribers come to the channel in search of information about coins and the markets. And the channel has provided information about the crypto economy and what to expect. Moreover, he said he likes the peer reviewed approach that Cardano uses for research and development. Afterward, he discussed the features and development of Cardano, noting that there are fewer apps for it than there are for Ethereum or Polkadot. Currently, according to a statement from the Coin Bureau, the development process of Cardano is believed to be slow and lacking. Furthermore, he advised the Cardano development team to incorporate more developers into their blockchain network to build a stronger community like Ethereum. Furthermore, the Coin Bureau also stated that it is lacking dApps in comparison to other cryptocurrencies. Also, the community of Cardano has been hardworking and dedicated. There are several academic experts and developers committed to making Cardano a great network, one of the strongest in the crypto industry. With this, we can expect that investors would be encouraged to invest in Cardano after these positive remarks from the Coin Bureau. Moreover, the head of the Coin Bureau explained that Cardano will soon reach a new milestone since several notable projects are currently underway in the space that will elevate Cardano to a new level. Additionally, the Cardano community has taken a step forward and is currently working on some innovative new projects. Moreover, several of them are close to being ready for launch or in the final stages. As a result, we can expect to see a new series of interesting Cardano projects on the market soon. Meanwhile, Charles Hoskinson, the founder of Cardano, is now focused on the creation of new Cardano blockchain protocol upgrades, and these improvements will allow the smart contract feature to be implemented more precisely. Furthermore, in March 2021, the first hard fork of this protocol was introduced, which was called the Merry Hard Fork. An upcoming update will strengthen the smart contract feature, and analysts anticipate that it will be released very soon. Additionally, a new Cardano protocol Alonzo was also launched on September 12th as part of the updates to the protocol. Additionally, an interesting stress test has also been carried out to determine whether the smart contract feature of Cardano ensures scalability and stability. A test such as this was part of the Alonzo upgrade phase that was launched after smart contracts were released. In addition to strengthening the smart contract feature, the Alonzo upgrade will also affect the price of the coin. Moreover, by the end of 2022, the Coin Bureau forecasts that the price of Cardano will reach $5 following another upward spurt for Bitcoin. Despite being bullish about Cardano, the Coin Bureau said the new digital currency does suffer from some concurrency issues. And due to the new EUTXO functionality in Cardano, this is possible. And having said that, he also mentioned some of the projects that have been built by Cardano, some of which have already gained massive success. Additionally, several new projects are in the works and will be released soon. He also stated that along with IOHK, Emergo, and Cardano Foundation, several companies are planning on building partnerships with well-known and popular agencies and conducting research on Cardano. Also, according to Coin Bureau, Cardano is being discussed as being bullish even after its smart contract functionality was launched. And as a result of the new Cardano EUTXO model, users and developers have reported difficulties during the September testnet for the Cardano smart contracts. Meanwhile, well, just for clarification, let's look at the whole situation in more detail and find out what the Coin Bureau has said about Cardano. 
On the other hand, many people do not know what EUTXO means and how it works. So EUTXO stands for Extended Unspent Transaction Output. With the launch of the UTXO model, they are aiming to provide secure cash transactions in a digital format just like Bitcoins. To better understand how unspent transactions work in Bitcoin and Cardano, let us consider an example. Consider the situation where you went to a grocery store and bought a soda. Paying your bill can now be done in two ways, and these are by paying cash or by using a credit card. Using a credit card, you can now pay your $2 bill, and these $2 will be taken from your account. With this, the transaction has now been completed. In contrast, if you pay by cash, you will put in $5 and the vending machine will send out the remaining 3 On a UTXO model, you'll receive $3 in the same manner as if they were unspent transactions. As mentioned, the UTXO model, originally used by Bitcoin, is now used by Cardano as well as the improved version called EUTXO for extended unspent transactions. With this, Cardano's transactions are considered safer and easier to execute than Ethereum's. People, however, believe that if this is not maintained safely, it can cause concurrency problems. Furthermore, when several people attempt to use an application at the same time, concurrency issues can occur which can ultimately cause maintenance issues. Therefore, Coin Bureau and other people are bullish on Cardano primarily because of the concurrency issue. In recent years, there have been many new initiatives launched by the Cardano Foundation that support the solution to this problem, including the Miniswap project. In addition to Miniswap, another project has recently been introduced to social media, and it's called Sunday Swap, which is the leading DEX in the Cardano ecosystem as well as a place where users can post new offerings. In addition to its decentralized system, Sunday Swap's popularity and unique uniqueness are attributed to its popularity. Additionally, the Sunday Swap web interface is hosted on the interplanetary file system. In addition to its unique feature, Sunday Swap will have its supply distributed equally, with 55% going directly into user and developer accounts. Additionally, a project launched by Cardano called Ardana is the most interesting. With Ardana, you will be able to unlock a large amount of liquidity with only a small amount of staked ADA, and you will also be able to mint suds with the use of ADA. Moreover, considering Ardana's roadmap, it will be possible to earn its protocol fees as well as ADA. Apart from Sunday Swap, Ardana Cardano, MELD, and other interesting projects on the Cardano blockchain will be released in March 2021. It is MELD's sole purpose to make it easy for Cardano aspirants to borrow and sell tokens using MELD's built-in ISO system. Further, the most surprising feature of MELD is found in its mobile application under development which will provide users with a physical debit card allowing them to easily trade or buy cryptocurrencies. Concerning MELD's supply, it has a massive supply of 4 billion. Of that, 20% can be sent to ISO participants. Additionally, MELD users will have access to protocol funds, insurance, and fee discounts. Nonetheless, MELD is working on building its dApps in this 2022, and there will be an easier way to trade and borrow tokens that way. The next major project in the Cardano family is the Drunken Dragon Games. It is an NFT game built on Cardano and it was launched in April 2021. And I think the best way to describe it is that it's different from other NFT and Ethereum games. This game will be about owning and managing an inn and tavern and that's what Drunken Dragon Games state in its statement. Then you will be able to collect deep fantasy furniture for your establishment that expands and adds functionality, and adventurers with rich and intriguing characters will stay in your inn and dance and celebrate when the townspeople present quests to undertake. On the other hand, although Cardano has launched numerous projects for its smart contracts feature, the Alonzo Hard Fork is receiving positive reviews from people. Also, there aren't any dApps in the smart contract system, which leaves Cardano with a bad impression. Further, the newly launched Cardano project Sunday Swap has announced that it's currently developing a solution to this whole cryptocurrency problem. As a result, Cardano projects like Miniswap share important information about how to address these challenges together. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Look in the comments section for what to do. Make sure you click the subscribe and bell buttons.